Hey guys, it's the Sun Sage. Welcome back to my um, my subscribers and welcome to my new followers or new watchers. I hope I gain a subscriber in you as well. I can't wait to give you the messages today that we have from your water sign divine masculine. This is for those of you who are connecting with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer divine masculine, okay? So these messages will resonate um, for those of you whose divine masculine is a sun, moon, Venus, or rising um, water sign. And uh, just apply the mes message how it resonates, okay? All right, at the end of the reading, towards the end of the reading, I'm going to direct you to the description box, which will have the monthlies for those in the water sign. So I'm going to post the mo the monthlies, the May 2020 monthlies for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. That could give you a little more clarity or insight into your situation with the person that you're connecting with. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I always start with these messages here that I created. They have little notes or messages from Divine Masculines, what they want to say to you, okay? So I am going to start with the Scorpio Divine Masculine. So for those of you connecting with the Scorpio Divine Masculine, I am going to read these messages. These wanted to come out, so I'm going to take them. So we have, you know you love me. I know you love me. I'm sorry. I know you love me. We have, we need this time apart. We have, I'm in love with you, even if I can't say it. We have, I need to talk to you. We have, I want to take care of you. And we're going to get one more from your Scorpio, okay? I'm a little clumsy today, guys. All right, so one more message from the Scorpio to my masculine, please. Thank you. I miss you so very much. So while it does feel like you and your person are currently in separation or currently not speaking, it also feels like the love is still very much here. Um, you guys have a lot of love confirmation messages here from your Scorpio Divine Masculine, okay? So the first card to come out to clarify, I know you love me, is the Ten of Cups, okay? So that is water energy. Let's see. Let's see. For clarifying, we need this time apart. We have the King of Swords. All right. Clarifying, I'm in love with you even if I can't say it. The Three of Coin. Okay. For I need to talk to you. Oh. That is being clarified by... The Nine of Spears or Nine of Wands. I want to take care of you is clarified by Five of Cups. Okay. And I miss you so very much is being clarified by the Sun. All right. So a couple of my Divine Masculines have gotten the Sun as like messages to their feminine. So I do feel like there is a general like collective energy with from the masculines that they're happy with their divine feminines like they're not they don't have a lot of issues with their divine feminines like they feel like this could be you know the one or whatever and so i get the same energy here with this uh scorpio but we'll get into it okay so i know you love me that's being clarified by the ten of cups so what this looks like to me is that you have welcomed this person into your life into your home. They've possibly met your family, your children, or your child. If you're a parent, you could have included this person in um, your success, uh, invited them places where you were being celebrated or around friends and family. I feel like you, you've you invited them to be involved in your life, okay? So that is your successes your your challenges like it just feels like you guys are in somewhat this family energy and because of it they know you love them because you've included them you've shown them love you've cooked for them you have given them a warm place to stay for some of you um you could have even helped this person with their own family um situations in some way 
I feel like there's a happiness in this card. You know, they feel complete knowing that you love them. They feel complete and fulfilled like they made the right choice being with you. Okay, so I do get that. So we have, we need this time apart with the King of Swords. For me, this looks like a masculine has decided to put their foot down about some things they need to get in order in their life. This King of Swords is all about business, okay? This King of Swords is very authoritative and very precise with their actions. They have a vision for the future and they are not easily distracted. OK, so I do feel like they are in the process of figuring their future out. Um, this could manifest in a way where um, if they have recently lost a job or if they have recently had some um, cut back some hours or had some type of issues at work, they're 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 like, OK, I love you, but I need to focus on this right now. I can't have distractions. I feel like it's not that they're seeing their person as a distraction, but more so that they are um, going to use this time apart. OK, we need this time apart to better themselves, to 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 be at the level that they want to be, um, possibly just, you know, for the simple fact that we're in this pandemic and they want to make sure that when they come out of this, they're secure and you're secure. OK, this is father energy. This is husband energy. Um, this is also someone who can turn their emotions off. Okay. So they could be a little moody or they could come off as a little mean. Okay. About this, this, this conversation that possibly is already taking place about needing time apart, but they do feel like it is for the betterment of the relationship with you. Okay. They need to keep, um, their heads clear at this time and keep their focus where it is. Okay, so I'm in love with you, even if I can't say it, it's clarified with the three of coin, all right? So this feels like working to, to build something that will turn into, so this, what you have with your person, it feels like you guys are like almost there, okay? It feels like the foundation is being laid, like the, um... The important parts of your relationship are are there, okay? The qualities are there. There's some work to do, but I feel like they are in love with you because of your ability to be able to help them build this, all right? You could have even helped them build themselves, okay? So you could have inspired this person in some way, but there is something about your presence in this Scorpio's life that... They feel grateful to have you as a team player. I feel like this is a this 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 relationship is like teamwork. You've both put in the work to build this relationship to where you want it to be. Okay. And so also, you know, going back to this King of Swords, there's a sense of responsibility and duty that this person has that could be taking over the relationship right now where it's like they're not communicating as much. They're not seeing you as much, but I do feel like it's mostly from a business perspective. They need to get their life in order and they need to like make sure they're focusing on the future, not just the here and the now because this person is a builder. Okay. But they also come off as a team player. So I feel like you guys are good listeners. They love that you help them. They love that you help them improve, that you have helped them grow. Okay, so I do get that from this three of coin energy here. So I need to talk to you, nine of spears. Um, this kind of confirms that you guys have not been speaking. If you have been speaking, it probably hasn't been to the level that you want it to be. The communication hasn't been as clear and as frequent as you may have wanted it. But I feel like they need to talk to you because they want to fight for this relationship. Okay, this is an energy of not yet giving up. All right, you guys may have had some tense moments. Everybody's dealing with, you know, everything that's going on in the world. And so things could just be getting really, things could just be getting real in your connection. But they're willing to go through these, these challenges and these hard times in this fight. They're going to put up the fight because they want to maintain this, this foundation. All right, they want to keep building with you. 
Um, they need to talk to you. They could feel like you're a guard, a little bit guarded at this time. Like if you're upset with them and they know that, they could feel like, um, I, are you going to make me jump through hoops just to talk to you? You know what I mean? Um, I do feel like someone here has put their foot down about something. Okay, I did get that with the King of Swords. And I think I said that. I, it feels like there was a little bit of tension here. So it, it doesn't feel like love is lacking in this connection. It feels like right now two parties may not be seeing eye to eye. And so there is this energy here that someone is going to have to fight to be heard. Okay. All right. So for I want to take care of you. With the five of cups. Um, so this kind of confirms if this person backed away or started focusing more on career, money, things like that, they may regret how they did it, okay? They may regret that it left you kind of feeling alone and sad. But again, I still get the same. They want to fight for this energy with those three cups knocked down, but those two cups are still here, okay? So this relationship is still, you know, a big part of, of their um, life. I just feel like they're experiencing a little bit of sadness for some of the mistakes that they've made, um, some of the communication failures that I feel have taken place here. Also, probably some of the def defensiveness that this person has taken on. They could have been a little mean to you lately or recently. And so they could be regretting, you know, that. And they want to they wanna let you know that they want to take care of you. I think also being in these challenges and maybe seeing their life without you, it's not something that makes them happy. Okay? I think they want to take care of your heart. I think they want to make you happy again. If you're sad or they're sad or you're both sad because you're at a distance from each other or your communication is off at this time, I think there is a need to want to reconcile here. <laughs> All right. So for I miss you so very much in the sun, more confirmation that you guys are likely at a distance, whether physically or emotionally or, or um, communication wise, there is a distance here, but they miss you. Okay, you could be a Leo, you could be an air sign, but I feel like your Scorpio Divine Masculine wants you to know that they look at you as their son. You are their guide in life. They are motivated by you. you they get their energy from you, their positive energy. They have an optimism about this relationship and about this connection, okay? And I think they're feeling, <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen each other or spoken, they feel your loss. Okay, and that's why they miss you so much. Because it says, I miss you so very much. All right? I want to get more on this Five of Cups to see if I can kind of see what happened here for I want to take care of you. The world, okay? They're done being sad or having regrets about things. They're done putting you through moments of sadness or being mean to you. I think they want to start fresh with this world card. They want to end that cycle of combativeness and feeling like they, they want to fight for the connection. They just don't want to fight against you. They want to fight together as a team. You know, whatever challenges you guys are facing financially, um, keeping your spirits up, whatever it is you guys are going through, they want to go through that with you, okay? And so I do feel like they may have left you feeling alone or lonely. And I, and with this world card, I feel like that's going to come to an end. And that's why they're saying they want to take care of you, okay? They're done leaving you feeling sad, okay? And having regrets and remorse about things. They want to embrace this happiness with you because they miss it. Okay, so I hope that resonated for those of you connecting with the Scorpio Divine Masculine. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys, and make sure you check out the description box for the Scorpio May 2020 reading, and I will talk to you guys soon.
Okay, welcome back guys. So this is for those of you connecting with a Cancer Divine Masculine, okay? So this reading will be for um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Um, messages from your person, okay? Don't forget, um, towards the end of the reading, I am going to um, refer you to the description box because I'm going to place the Cancer May 2020 readings in there. That could give you a little bit more insight and uh, specific details into the situation that you're going through with your Divine Masculine, okay? It could answer some questions. That's for those of you who, hasn't, who haven't um, seen that message yet, okay? So what does your Cancer Divine Masculine want you to know? All right. Oh. Okay. I won't let you go. Okay. I'm going to put those here. I'm going to pick the messages first, guys, and then I'm going to clarify with the tarot. So the first message your Cancer Divine Masculine wants you to know is that they won't let you go. I'm trying so hard. Okay, we have <clears throat> no one compares to you. All right, we have I'm pretending. Have, Please don't move on. And the last message from your Cancer Divine Masculine. I choose you, okay? So very sweet messages coming from the Cancer to my masculine. So let's get into it and see what um, what deeper messages we can get, okay? So we for I won't let you go, I'm gonna take those. Okay, that's too many, but I do see the four of coin, which is holding on. So yeah, they're not letting go right now. They're holding on very tight to you. And you could even feel like if, you know, why won't you let me go? Like. We're going to see what's going on with you two. But they could be feeling really possessive right now. Yeah. Empress, they won't let you go. Okay. So I'm going to get the others. And then um, I can't wait to get into that message because I do get a lot from that. Okay. So for I'm trying so hard. Seven of Cups. Okay. No one compares to you. Oh, two came out. We have five of swords and ace of pentacles or ace of coin in this deck. I'm pretending queen of swords. Please don't move on. Five of cups. Mm. I choose you. Okay, that's too many. I choose you being clarified by the magician. All right, so I'm gonna get these here. Okay, so let's get it started. I won't let you go, showing up with the Empress. You are far too beautiful, far too valuable, far too, um, far too rare for this person to let go of. I think your Cancer Divine Masculine is feeling bad about something that they've done. It feels like there's guilt in some of these energies, but I do feel like maybe they didn't appreciate you for the Empress that you are, okay? So with them not wanting to let you go or letting you know they won't let you go, they could be coming off as a little possessive lately. They could be, um, <sighs> trying to show you a more romantic side but it feels really like overprotective in a way and that's because they're seeing you as the empress you guys could have children together here you could have moved in together recently but it something about this energy tells me that there's just a lot of history here there's a lot you guys have built up there's um a chance for a fresh start here with this empress energy this is fertility. Someone could be pregnant. Um, they don't want to let you go. They want to continue on this journey with you, with you by their side. Okay? They, they see you as this really beautiful um, person who they know 
would get picked up by anybody and they don't want that to happen, okay? So they know that there's competition for them, for you. So for I'm trying so hard showing up with the Seven of Cups, I feel like your Cancer Divine Masculine is trying to tell you how confused they are right now. They're in a state of confusion. They're not really able to see as clear as they would like. And so that could be causing them to project some of their confusion and insecurities onto you. Okay, so if this person had a situation where they were like communicating with other people outside of the relationship or feeling like they had options and they were entertaining those options, they may have tried not to, but they failed or they tried to be monogamous and commit to you, but it didn't go as planned. There's something here about this. I'm trying so hard, this confusion that it feels like this person took you for granted in some way. And so a big part of their confusion is they want it to be different for you. And they hadn't yet dealt with like some of their issues. So all of their old habits came back up or something like that, right? And so um, this is a need to see things clearly, all right? To, to take the fantasizing out of a situation. Even with this empress, I get that they kind of have an ideal situation about love. They could just be in love with love or in love with having a partner, in love with having romance in their life, and not quite sure how to nurture that and grow that and maintain that, all right? This could also come off as a very immature energy, not seeing things from a realistic perspective, okay? So your Cancer Divine Masculine is is really wanting to let you know that they are trying hard to come out of that confused state. They're trying to see things clearly, all right? No one compares to you. That's confirmation of what we saw with the Emperor, the Empress. Um, with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Coin clarifying that, <sighs> Again, I feel like they wronged you in some way with that Five of Swords energy and they want to come with a gift or let's, you know, um, what do you want? I can do anything for you. I feel like they're, I, I don't know why I'm getting begging with this, but I feel like they're begging to come back to you or will be begging you in some way, okay? They don't want you to leave them. It says here, I won't let you go. So they're willing to fight for you. I think a part of them being willing to fight for you that could also be the the five of swords they don't care what they have to do it's feeling like they have to woo you materially or buy you gifts or give you money or something like that but this could also be um wanting to bring this community this relationship to a different level of commitment and wanting to start the 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 lines of communication with you again all right so this Ace of Coin gives me like coming out of this Five of Swords energy. They realize no one compares to you. It doesn't matter what anybody has said about you. It doesn't matter uh, for the people who didn't want you guys together. They still want to make an offer to you. They still want to have this new, fresh beginning with you. This is this coin as a pinnacle. It's also like representative of value. So this is the start of something that you see long term. This is representation of a seed being planted. Again, I'm getting fertility. Again, I'm getting pregnancy. I'm getting children. But I'm also getting that this person is ready to start things off on the right foot after being in the wrong for some time. Okay. So I'm pretending being clarified by the Queen of Swords. You're, and I've seen this energy too with a couple of the other divine masculines because I'm pretending has come out with a lot of them, which is a general energy. Divine masculines, the ones who are unaware of their power and their appeal and, you know, the spiritual journey, they, they feel it, but they don't really live up to it in a way or they aren't living up to it in the in the present they're trying to figure this thing out okay <laughs> just like this can't i feel like a lot of these divine masculines have stumbled upon something that feels really good but it also feels really foreign as far as this twin flame or soul partnership and so they're all behaving in different ways but it's interesting to see how all of their you know how a lot of them have got i'm pretending but i feel like this person is 
pretending I think I think cancer got something like this last time where it feels like they were being mean or they were being sharp with their words or criticizing you in some way or you could have been criticizing them um, I'm pretending this is my shield this is how I protect myself by being kind of harsh so I feel like this person maybe put up these really sharp walls around themselves and every time you try to go deep with them they found themselves pushing you away or or like cutting you in some way harming you in an emotional way okay and I feel like that's a facade you know it's a a, a way here for them to protect themselves but I do feel like underneath that facade is somebody who does want communication. Again, what we saw with that Ace of Coin to get back on track. The Queen of Swords is about answers, solving problems, making clear, logical decisions, head over heart decisions at times. So they could be, if you know, you guys are at a distance, they could be acting like they don't miss you. You know, I'm pretending or acting like you don't matter or like, but they really are seeing you as this empress, okay? You could also be a Taurus or a Libra, okay? Um, Please don't move on. So again, I get begging or some sort of fighting for this in unconventional ways or ways unconventional to this person. If they had an ego that was like preventing them from revealing them their true selves, it's coming out in this message because they don't want you to move on. With this five of cups, they would be torn, broken down, devastated if you moved on, okay? They would be in their feelings. And that also could be that I'm pretending energy, them acting like it doesn't bother them or acting like you can't hurt them or you don't have that power over them, but you do, okay? They don't want you to move on even though they disappointed you, all right? They don't want you to move on because this Two of Cups is still here, okay? In the back, you guys can see this Two of Cups. That is love, all right? Yeah, there's the Three of Cups spilled over, Somebody was having a good old time and enjoying themselves while they were, you know, neglecting a connection. And then when all of that fell apart, you know, this connection could still be here, but there's some work that's got to go into it. And I think that's what this person is acknowledging, that at least somewhat acknowledging that they don't want you to move on and they don't want you to move on because they still want this to work with you. They're very sad about how they've treated you. And this also feels to like guilt to me. So I choose you showing up with a magician. You could be an Aries. Okay. Um, I feel like this is just, they manifested this. You know, they've wanted this for so long. And they don't want to, they want to pull out all the stops for you. This magician is going to pull out all the stops. They're going to use every tool in their toolbox to get you back or to make things work with you. That's how I see this magician showing up with I Choose You. They want to show up as whoever you need them to be in order to get this relationship on track. All right. So this feels like someone who is willing to put in the work, who's willing to believe in themselves, okay? They're willing to believe in themselves and believe in the, the strength and the, the longevity of this connection because with the Ace of Coins and like the Empress, I do see longevity here. Also, I feel like you're special. So they choose you because you're special. You have a magnetism about you if you're representing this, this magician here. You're a healer, you're a, a risk taker, you are someone who has great capacity to, you know, use your logical sense, senses as well as your emotions and express yourself. So I feel like you have all of the things that they want in a person, okay? All right, so that's all I have for those of you connecting with a Cancer Divine Masculine. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys, and make sure you check out the description box for the Cancer May 2020 readings for a little more insight into your situation. And I can't wait to talk to you guys soon, okay? Thanks so much.
right, so I'm just straightening up for Pisces. Okay, so I wanna make sure I get these in for Pisces. So welcome back everyone. I am now doing messages for the Pisces the, the, the Pisces Divine Masculine to their Divine Feminines, okay? So again, this will resonate for those of you connecting with a Pisces uh, sun, moon, Venus, or rising, all right? And these will be messages, things they want to say or things they want you to know, okay? I am going to start with the little deck that I created with messages on them from the Divine Masculine and uh, see what they want to say here. And then I'm going to clarify these messages with the tarot. Okay. All right. So let's get started with the Pisces Divine Masculine. Okay. So what do we have coming out for Pisces? What do they want their person to know? Please don't move on. Okay. You consume my thoughts. Nice. Let's see what else the Pisces Divine Masculine wants their feminine to know. No one compares to you. Right. I'm trying so hard. I choose you. And I pray for you. Okay. So a lot of these energies came out in the Pisces and I mean in the Cancer and Scorpio reading, mostly the Cancer. So your person can have some Cancer in their chart. Okay. But let's start um, clarifying these messages. So for please don't move on. Let's see what we have clarifying. Please don't move on. For please don't move on, we have the moon, Pisces energy, Pisces cancer energy, water energy, but you could be a cancer. This is mostly like cancer, but it's water energy. Okay. You consume my thoughts. Queen of Spears. No one compares to you. Ten of Swords. I'm trying so hard. The Sun. I choose you. Ace of Cups. And I pray for you. We have two. We have Ace of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, Ace of Spears and the Will of Fortune. Okay, let's break it down. All right, so. Okay, so your Pisces Divine Masculine doesn't want you to move on. Okay, so they're saying please don't move on with the moon here. All right, so recently you guys could have encountered some really dark times even now, like with everything going on in the world, there could just be like some really heavy emotional shifts taking place for this person. They may feel like it's a lot for you to deal with in them. Um, they could be asking a lot of you right now with this moon energy and it's very heavy. Okay. This is an energy that there needs to be some healing Okay, the moon can be representative of like a sickness or not feeling too well. And so they feel like they need you in their life and they don't want you to move on. They also may have some secrets that they are keeping to themselves. Something, you know something's up, but you can't like quite put your finger on it. There's some unknown energies here, but they want you to like stick it through with them even though they're not, you know, opening up right now. And this could even be your energy not opening up with the moon. You could be holding on to some secrets or not talking to them at this time. And they feel like you're in the process of moving on because of it. All right. So we have, you consume my thoughts with the queen of spears. You are very 
attractive to this person. There is a very electric attraction here. You could be a fire sign, um, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, but they find you beautiful. They find you sexy. Um, you are someone they cannot get off of their mind, okay? <laughs> they love the way you dress. They love the way you carry yourself. They love the way others look at you. Like you come off like a mystery to this Pisces, but they want to let you know that you're consuming their thoughts right now. Like all they can think about is you and you're like the queen of their heart. Okay, this is fire energy. This is very passionate energy. Okay, so this could be them fantasizing about you. This could just be them having like really intense like thoughts and dreams about you as well. I get that too with the moon, like dreams. They could be really dreaming um, very heavily about you at this time. How you look, um, you know, things they like about you physically. Okay, no one compares to you with the Ten of Swords, okay? So this is an interesting combo because it feels like this could be an acknowledgement that since something has ended with that Ten of Swords that they haven't been able to find anything else um, out there that is quite like you. It also could be like you being strong and you having the ability to put an end to this situation, like they see that as strength, like your ability to end something that's not working out for you, they view that as a strength, okay? This is the ending of something, but for it to be showing up, clarifying no one compares to you, it's almost like they've come full stop on their search for love because they found the person that they want. This person may have also hurt you or put you through some trauma with that traitor energy there. They could have betrayed you, um, but because of your ability to overcome it in some way or, you know, end things with them and heal yourself and come back looking better than ever and showing up as like this queen of spheres energy, they realize like, you know, you were too good to let go. All right. So I think I'm going to clarify this again, that no one compares to you. That's what I'm going to do. No one compares to you. Death, Scorpio energy. So we have two cards, two messages here about endings. There is something about you. It's like, a, again, there's something very dark and mysterious about you. Something about the way you handle yourself where you're like a take no nonsense. You're like a no nonsense kind of person. You will put an end to anything that's not serving you. But from this energy, I'm also getting that, that you're able to regenerate yourself in a way like they've never seen before. Like from your pain, you emerge more beautiful, stronger, more like just more everything you already were. And that attracts them. Okay. But again, it all, it also feels like I'm done searching. You know, that's, those are two ending energies. It's like, I'm, I'm at the end of this trying to find someone. I found someone. I don't need to look any further. Okay. I'm trying so hard with the sun. I feel like your Pisces divine masculine is trying to be happy. They're trying to be optimistic with this moon energy and that death energy showing up. They could be really going through a really heavy emotional time right now. And they're trying to be happy for their sake and for your sake. It is a struggle for them though. Because I feel like... With this ten of swords and with this death... They just want things, they want to put an end to endings. Like this is somebody who doesn't take death well. This is someone who doesn't like process pain, you know, in the best way. And I feel like they just want things to get better and they could say things like that. Like I just want things to get better and I feel like they're trying to be happy. You could be a Leo with this sun card. I feel like they're trying to be optimistic. 
We also have the sun and the moon. Um, these are also counterparts. They're not court cards, but they are counterparts. So this is husband, mother, father, wife energies here, okay? You are each other's sun and moon. You know, that was something that was said in the Game of Thrones show, which these cards are depicting. Uh, my sun and my stars or something like that. I think you guys have each other on a pedestal. Okay, it's just that one person in the connection is more dark and mysterious and the other person is more optimistic and happy and, you know, freely shows off like their personality and outgoing. But um, that could be taking a toll on your Pisces Divine Masculine, like trying to present is happy, even if they're not feeling that way. So I choose you with the Ace of Cups. You are the person that they have chosen to give their love to. Their complete and total love, okay? This Ace of Cups is, I'm giving you everything. This is an overflow of love. This is an overflow of emotion and affection that they feel for you. All right? This is also water energy. But it just feels like they want to present you with marriage, they already love you. They already know they want to be with you. They already know no one else compares to you. Like I said, it's like they've ended their search for someone else and they want you to know that you are the person that they want to, you know, go on this life journey with. All right. And presenting you with this Ace of Cups, their love, their loyalty, their affection, everything you could want from them. Okay. This can be a signal of wanting to marry you and have children with you. Um, about beginnings. Okay, this could be, we have like the death card and the ten of swords representing endings, but we also have this beautiful beginning here with the ace of cups. The possibilities are endless with you. You give this person hope because they feel like they're really dark on the inside and they struggle emotionally. Okay. So I prayed for you showing up with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Spears. More Ace, new beginning, fresh start, beginning energy. This feels like they feel lucky to have you. They feel lucky to have someone so attractive and, and so vibrant and so exciting. This Wheel of Fortune is all about things, the wheel turning in your favor, you know, it can also turn in the opposite direction and you could have a rough patch. But I, with this showing up with this Ace of Spears for them, I pray for you. It feels like their their uh, prayers were finally answered. You showed up in their life and you are exciting and you are passionate about life. You're passionate about clothes or something here about the way that you look. People look up to you. You're vivacious and they are inspired by that and they feel lucky to have you. You could even be like a trophy wife with this energy. Yeah, it just feels like this person has fixed themselves on you. They are not changing. Like the will can represent change, but it's also with all the fixed energy. So the will of fortune is representative of Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and... um. Oh, what's the other one? Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Those are all fixed energies. It's very difficult to change the minds of those energies. And so while Pisces is not a part of that list, I believe those are mutable signs. They adapt, they adjust. This is the energy of someone who has found what they're looking for. They feel like something good fell into their lap and they don't want to let it go. And they prayed. Okay, they prayed for this. They prayed for you. All right. So that's all I have for you guys for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. And make sure you check out the description box for the May 2020 Pisces reading. That could give you a little more clarity or insight to what your Pisces could be going through, okay? Thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon.